Yo, man, welcome to the 10th Man series, man, the educational series based on the contract that we're going to go over, man, these short clips. This video is going to be a little longer because we got to make some introductions um, and we have to explain a couple things. But nevertheless, uh, we were just going to go on ahead and uh, get right into it. So uh, my name is Ricky Randolph. I am not a certified uh, union representative, nor am I a certified shop steward. Um, I have not been afforded that opportunity. But however, um, I, via my own study because I was on my way to law school before the United States Postal Service called in, and I'm grateful for that opportunity. Um, but my passion is law. My passion is to uh, uh, look at stuff, and I love to read. I love stories, and and that's nothing more what the contract and the Constitution is and arbitration panels, and we'll get into that. But it, it's nothing but a story um, that has to be told, and that's just kind of like my niche. Uh, so I decided to... Um, set a goal to help as many people as I can by uh, being creative and giving my uh, creative personality or my spin on it by uh, being able to express things. So uh, four books that you need to read, man. Um, you need to have these books on you. I, I, I can't stress this enough. Uh, we live in the 21st century, man. Um, you can put these on your phone uh, in your Google Drive. If you don't have a Google, a Google account by now, uh, uh, you're living under a rock, but nevertheless, uh, please put these documents in your Google drive so you can be able to access them, um, at will. Okay. Now for the first book that we're going to talk about is the national agreement, uh, AKA the contract. Okay. Th this is an agreement between the employer and the employee. Okay. We're not going to get into the history and all that jazz right now. But nevertheless, you need to understand and put things into the correct context. We, as letter carriers, are the employee, okay? The United States Postal Service is the employer, okay? We have to put these into the proper perspective. Management is not a part of the union, okay? They are no longer considered to be letter carriers or clerks or whatever. They are the employer, Okay, they have our own set of rules um, that we will get into possibly, you know, later on. I'm not sure. Nevertheless, uh, we have number two, which is going to be the Constitution. Um, the Constitution is uh, the umbrella for the NALC union. Okay, this is the this is doesn't have anything to do with the employer. This is the employee. Okay, this is our agreement amongst ourselves nationally and locally um, to conduct ourselves in our union in a specific manner. Now, with that being said, point 2B is going to be your local bylaws falls under the umbrella of the Constitution, okay? So at your branch, I'm, I'm a part of uh, Branch 464, and you have a branch local bylaws, which therefore... Uh, will make it better or make it more suitable for your local branch, okay? It is not supposed to make it worse. It's supposed to make it better, okay, or suitable for your local branch, okay? And the book number three is going to be the JCAM, which is the, the Joint Contract Administration Manual. Now, please note, this is the best book out of them all because it is built and worded and written to educate, okay? I want to make this uh, very clear. There is a note in the preface that says it neither adds to nor modifies in any respect, okay, the current collective bargaining agreement. So it's built to educate for our education. A lot of people, if you go to the national agreement or the contract, it reads very hard, Okay, it reads difficult. We're talking about like Article 8, the task force. You know what I'm saying? I will sit down and read something like that. Possibly the majority of the people listening to me um, on this particular channel will not. Okay, so the JCAM will be where we will source a lot of our information from. And whenever we cannot source it, then I will give you um, what the contract says because, it's, you know, it is necessary. Um, but the JCAM is built to educate. Okay, number four is going to be the NLC Shop Steward Guide, okay? Um, this particular book, so you know what your shop steward needs to do, and sometimes we as the employee needs to, we need to check the shop steward 
and tell them what they supposed to be doing because they work for us. Put it into the right context. We are the employee. We pay dues to be represented by a lawyer, which is technically the union. The, the lawyer doesn't, the, we do not work for the lawyer. The lawyer works for us, okay, as the employee to cover us. Um, I think over the years, if I'm not mistaken, a lot of people um, have reached out to me and, and find this arrogance when it comes to shop stewards and, and people of, of uh, the union that are certified. No, you do not approach me with arrogance. I pay you to do a job. Um, and, and not condescendingly said, but we have to put this into the right chain of command in the right order. Okay, I have rights. I pay you to do a job. I need you to do it. That's it. Okay, so last thing that you need to collect, and this is a bonus, you need to collect national arbitration panels. I, I can't say this enough because it, it is literally arbitration panel. I know it sounds um a uh, real real um like uh uh dangerous the arb arbitration panels uh no arbitration panels are are basically um just roadmaps that's all they are in 1998 mr snow talked about this and basically this is how they handled it in 1998 so we don't even need to go through all that investigation stuff we just handle it like it was already handled in 1998, unless there's a variable that changed um, that cannot be followed. Other than that, you know, that's what arbitration panels are. So if I was you, the way that you put shop stewards or anybody that is working for you um, into uh, to, to, to need them to do what you want them to do or need to do what they need to do, is just give them an the arbitration panel. This is how this hand, this is how this was handled. So, there, there doesn't need to be any, um, you know, ramifications for that or any problems. Here you go. We don't have to have a, have a conversation. Just read this, and then that's how they did it, and that's how it need to be done. And then you just move on from there, okay? It's a very simple conversation. Um, if something was announced for four years and then this year it wasn't announced, then whatever happened this year needs to be redone like it was four years ago. That's just how it is, um, and... You just move forward from there unless there is a um, amendment. <laughs> you know, we'll get into that talk. OK, we'll get into that. But nevertheless, um, those are the four books and you got the bonus, which is the collection of arbitration uh, panels. We got the uh, the contract, which is national agreement. We got the Constitution and we got the JCAM and we got the NALC uh, shop steward guide um, that you need to have on you. These documents are online. The links to them are in the description for you. OK, and I want to give you this last uh, this last contextual um, idea. OK, the easiest way that I've thought about to explain to, to new people working at the post office and even people that have been for 10, 15 years um, is you are driving your car. Just put yourself behind the wheel in your mind. You're driving your car. You are you sitting in your car. Your car represents your job. OK, so you drive your car, you drive your job. The person in the police vehicle that just flashes lights to pull you over is considered to be the employer. OK, management. OK, uh, the postmaster, a.k.a. They come over to your window. They say, hey, I need to see your license and registration. You are in violation of such and such code. You're speeding. You immediately say, hey. I need to speak to my, I need my lawyer to be present for us to talk. This is considered to be the union, okay? The union is your lawyer. They are not your employer. They are not in position to tell you what to do unless it has to do with fighting the employer, AKA management, AKA uh, the United States Postal Service, okay? They work for you. That's why in your check, you see union dues. You pay dues to 
get them to do what they're supposed to do to be an active member. Okay, so we'll get into that, man. You guys have a great year, man. Happy New Year. Uh, once again, this particular 10th Man series is not about beating anybody over the head. If you want to hear that funny stuff, um, rants and going on, that's for going postal. This is for more um, education for you to be able to use this at your disposal. My apologies for the long presentation uh, early on, but we had to set the groundwork going forward. Um, in the meantime, man, have a great day and make sure that you put that mail in the right box. All right, bye.